Coinbase's hottest new meme coin has just been discovered. What Shiba Inu was to Ethereum, what Bonk was to Solana. It's crazy to me that more people don't know the story of Brett. And we've partnered with them today to fix that. You know Coinbase has a budding decentralized ecosystem in its Ethereum L2 base. We are seeing a token explosion on base, just like we've seen with BNB chain, just like we've seen with Solana. BNB ecosystem has been hot. Solana ecosystem has been hot. Base is the new Solana. Base is the new BNB chain. Do you realize how big base is blowing up right now? Smash the like button if you appreciate videos like this. Are you paying attention to base? It's not just another Ethereum L2. Base is the brainchild of Coinbase founder Brian Armstrong. Coinbase has more than 90 million registered users. At any moment, Coinbase will begin onboarding these users to base. Don't sleep on this. Just look at this. Base is seeing a huge surge in DeFi activity. On March 30th, Base just hit 1 billion in daily trading volume. It has overtaken all leading L2s in terms of daily transaction count. In my opinion, literally the easiest play at this point in the cycle is to buy some promising assets on base and wait for 100 million existing customers to log into their Coinbase account and try the Coinbase hot smart wallet with Ethereum directly from their account on base. Look, a lot of different metrics like this one are showing us that base is the place to be right now. I am personally degening on base. It's just as user-friendly as the Solana ecosystem, but it also has Ethereum's base layer security and the support from Coinbase, the biggest exchange in the Western world. I think base even launches their own token eventually, and users will be rewarded with that to some extent. But that's besides the point. Look, base just has really a few good meme coins right now. They're all vying to be like the winner of the base ecosystem. Let me tell you, why Brett meme coin is shining through and what makes it special. Keep in mind, meme coins are like gambling. Never invest more than you can afford to lose. But to be honest, I'd rather be in crypto meme coin market than buying some boomer lottery ticket. I think that if you go and you buy a lottery ticket, it's 300 million to one odds. I think there's people right now saying, you know what, a meme coin has better odds than a, a lottery ticket. When I first started looking into Brett, I mean, look at this guy. My initial reaction was, this guy is grotesque. What is this character? I don't really get it. However, once I started figuring out Brett's story, I immediately got it. The same creator who created Peppy, the frog that gets shared everywhere on the internet in crypto and out of crypto, that same creator also created Brett, and Brett is Peppy's best friend. Who's Brett? Brett is the legendary character from Matt Fury's Boys Club comic. He is a dancer and he loves video games. Now he lives on the base blockchain as a fan tribute. He has become a blue mascot for the blue chain base. This is a clip from the documentary Feels Good Man about the guy who created Peppy, about the guy who created a few different characters, all friends with Peppy, Brett being his best friend. I truly understand Brett after watching this. I mean, the first time I actually named him Pepe was for this comic that I did called Playtime. I was just messing around on Microsoft Paint and came up with Pepe and Brett, two characters. They did things like go to raves and paint. It just kind of naturally developed. And then I just thought it would be fun to have four characters, kind of like the Ninja Turtles. It became Boys Club. A lot of the humor is kind of about post-college zone. You don't quite know what you're doing, but you like drinking and hanging out. The four characters were just reflections of my personality and the personality of my friends. Landwolf, the party dog. Andy was the jokester of the group. Brett liked to dance. And then Pepe the Frog was just kind of like the little brother of the group. So if you wanted to get more involved with Peppy's best friend, Brett, but say you've never, you know, degened on the base L2, they have two really nice explainer videos right on their main website. Basics with Brett, how to bridge from Ethereum mainnet to the base chain, or basically directly with Coinbase's wallet, Coinbase's hot wallet. These two videos, very, very informative. But of course, before you do that, you need to understand the tokenomics better. 
85% of the supply is towards the liquidity pool, basically the Uniswap or the equivalent of 10% goes to the treasury to do different initiatives and 5% goes to the centralized exchange wallet. If and when they get listed on centralized exchanges, this money or this percentage would go to that. The contract is renounced. This is a really good thing in meme coins. The LP, the liquidity pool is locked for 365 days. Jumping over to DEX tools, what can we learn about Brett? Wow, 50,000 holders over now, obviously a major milestone for the community. Taking a look at the Dext score can tell us a lot. Now, this is a meme coin, right? So it's not going to be perfect. This is an early time for this altcoin, so not going to be perfect, but it does pass a lot of key things. Not a honeypot, no buy and sell tax, no proxy contract, not mintable. And you can, you know, click through these to kind of get more information. But, you know, obviously there are some certain things that aren't necessarily bad, but just things to keep note. The tax is modifiable and different things like this. Hey, I always want to give you the best information I can here at Altcoin Daily. And I would say this is kind of par for the course with a project this early that's in the meme coin space. If you prefer a more centralized solution for your DGEN plays, they are actually listed on many exchanges. I was impressed by how many exchanges they're listed on. Actually, OKX's DEX, which is their decentralized exchange, this is not really centralized is my point. You can get it on there. This is big news. They just got listed here. Also, Gate.io, BitGet I like, Bing X, Poloniex. I mean, I've heard of all of these. My favorite is BitGet, Bing X, OKX, although I haven't used the DEX, or even Gate. Let's do a little dubious speculation. How big could Brett get? Think about it like this. Binance coin is a top five coin. This is the coin that represents Binance. It was recently sitting at an $80 billion market cap. If Coinbase's base launches a coin later in this bull run, why wouldn't it be a top 10 coin with around 80 billion market cap as well? If just 1% of that 80 billion flows into the number one meme coin on base chain, that's an 800 million plus of net inflows which would send it to a 10 billion plus market cap as the number one meme coin on the chain. That's 1%. Now what if 10% of that capital goes into the top meme coin? What will happen then? Listen, Coinbase wants to onboard 1 billion users on chain. Today, we're at about 3 million users on chain. What happens to the top meme coin on base chain when the chain has 50 million, 100 million, 200 million users. That is 30x to 100x more money flowing around, and much of that could go into the number one meme coin. The number one meme coin on each chain outperforms each blockchain itself. SHIB outperformed Ethereum, Bonk outperformed Sol. Brett could outperform, act as a leverage bet on base growth itself. Or something else could happen. Literally anything. But you know what Anthony Pompliano says. I think that if you go and you buy a lottery ticket, it's 300 million to one odds. I think there's people right now saying, you know what? A meme coin has better odds than a, a lottery ticket. Hey, make sure you subscribe to our channel. Join the Altcoin Daily team. See you tomorrow, my friends.